ILS approach charts. Alright, so this is the ILS and localizer runway 30 center in the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport. I'm just going to go into a little bit of the details just so we can get some things cleared up about this approach chart. So let's start off with the briefing strip. That is going to be this top area right here. So we can see that it is the ILS or the localizer for runway 30 center in the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport. Right up here is the localizer frequency 110.15. Then we've got the approach course 303, runway landing length 10,201, touchdown zone elevation 1380, and airport elevation 1382. Get rid of all this junk. Alright, now here are just some notes in this box. It says when local altimeter setting not received, use the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Altimeter Setting and increase all decision altitude and minimum descent altitude 80 feet. Increase the straight in ILS 30 center, straight in localizer 30 center, all cats visibility 1 quarter mile, circling cats A, B, and Z visibility 1 quarter mile, and cat E 1 half mile. You've also got this little T and this little A right there. The T means it has non-standard takeoff minimums, and the A means non-standard alternate minimums. And here's the missed approach area. Missed approach says climb to 2800, then climbing right turn to 5000 via heading 145 and the IWA Vortac radial 015 to IWA Vortac and hold. Continue climb and hold 5000. And if you have TACAN, TACAN aircraft continue via the IWA Vortac radial 122 to HALB 9.9 .9 DME and hold. Continue climb and hold to 5000. Hold southeast left turns with 302 degree inbound. And then the rest of the briefing strip is all right here. These are all the frequencies. ATIS 133.5, Phoenix Approach Control 124.9, the Gateway Tower 120.6, or CTAF, Ground Control 128.25, and Clearance Delivery 135.05. Okay. Now that we've got that, let's check out the profile view, or no, the plan view, sorry, the plan view. So the plan view, as you can see, there's a ton of info on here, but it's really, it's really not that complicated. So right here, you've got the Phoenix identifier 115.6. Basically, you basically just use that to identify where you are on the approach. So you would tune that in and then use it as a cross radial right here. Um, you've got your minimum safe altitude within 25 nautical miles of IWA right here. Shows your altitude 5,600 within this area and 8,900 let's see when you're coming in from this direction straight into the approach as you can see it shows 6,000 no PT so that means you're not going to do a procedure turn so when you're coming down the approach this direction you can see that there's a procedure turn in this area right here. Obviously you don't have to do that because it says no PT and that makes plenty of sense because you're going to be coming straight down. There's really no reason to turn around because you're already on the final approach course. 
if, let's say you're coming let's say you're coming over from this direction you might want to do a procedure turn okay so we've looked a little bit at the plan view not too much in detail it's really just a bunch of vortex identifying areas with radials so you can just use all all these radials to identify yourself on the approach course so I want to take a little bit of a look into the profile view so the profile view as you can see right here the top left that's your missed approach it's basically just simplified it'll say the same exact stuff as it did in the box at the top right of this approach plane the rest of this shows you your plan okay so the 3700 represents your procedure turn completion altitude once you've completed the procedure turn you'll be at 3700 descending to 3300 which is your final approach fix for the ILS identified by this little lightning bolt symbol it's also your final approach fix for the localizer which is identified by this Maltese cross and then you would just follow the glide slope all the way down to the runway you can also see that the minimums are down here on the plate there's different categories, A, B, C, D, E. It's basically just based on your stall speed and landing configuration times 1.3. The first number is your either your minimum descent altitude or your decision altitude. The next number is miles and visibility and the following number is the height above threshold but for the circling minimums that number is your height above the airport not a height above threshold and then the bottom right of the plate is just your airport diagram So it tells you your elevation 1382, touchdown zone elevation 1380. And then your final approach fix to the missed approach point is 5.8 nautical miles. And you would just use this to time where your missed approach point is. So if you're going 90 knots, then it would take 3 minutes and 52 seconds from your final approach fix to figure out where your missed approach point. Or it would be 352 from your final approach fix to your missed approach point. All right. So that's the very basics of the ILS Runway 30 Center and the Phoenix Mesa Gateway. Thanks, guys.